Hey guys, welcome to WP Academy. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a modern carousel like this that you see on many websites by using Elementor Pro's Loop Builder without using any third party plugins or add ons in just a few minutes. And you can use this type of modern carousel to show any kind of data like team members, uh, products, or services, or anything similar. So if you are interested in watching this tutorial, then just keep watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any amazing video tutorials like this. And if you are watching this intro video on uh, social media platforms, then you can check the video description or comment section for the full video tutorial link. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. First, I'm going to show you uh, my current setup. I have created a custom post type team members using ACF. You need to create your own post type by installing this plugin and then going into post types and create a new post type for your team members. And then I have created some custom fields for this post type to add the information about the team member like designation or and uh, some social media links. And I have also created some posts. I am using post title as the team member name, then a featured image, then his designation and some social media links. Okay, now the first step is to create a loop item for these post types. So I will go to templates and theme builder. And then go into loop items and add a new item. Okay, I'll name this template a member. Okay, now let's just adjust the previous setting. Let's pull the data from team members post type and then I'll create a new container set this to full width and then I'll set a minimum height of 450 pixels you can increase or decrease depending on your design or requirement now I'll just go ahead to styles classic and I'll choose the featured image as the background image of this container position to center center and display size to cover okay now i'll add a background overlay to this container let's just add a black color overlay with an opacity of 0 0.7 and then navigate to the hover tab and again select a background color say black but this time uh, we'll, we will uh, decrease its opacity to like 0.3 so we have a nice over effect and then go to border and I'll set a border radius of 10 pixels now I'll go to the layout tab and justify the content to the end and now I'll add a new container to display the information about the team member and I'll also remove the padding from the main container and I'll increase the padding in this one to 20 pixels and I uh, will also need to adjust the border radius of this inner container from bottom left and bottom right so I'll unlink these boxes and from bottom 10 pixels left 10 pixels and now i'll add a background gradient to this box uh, let's just let's just add some values first like post title and i'll use html tag h4 this one and i'll change the color to white 
then we'll have to display the designation or title of the person so for that we'll use dynamic values in the heading element let's just change its html tag to a div and then from dynamic tags choose acf field designation or title and i'll adjust its typography and select the content container go to layout and i'll remove uh, decrease the gap between elements to 5 pixels okay, i think that's fine now we need to use some social icons for that we have an elementor widget or social icons let's just align them to the left and i'll use the circle style and i'll add some margin from top for this particular widget now go to styles and i'll set a custom color primary color to white and secondary color to let's say black or the color scheme i'm going to use for this is this one you can use uh, appropriate colors of your choice let me just add this color to the global color so I'll, i can use it again if needed let's just adjust the size of the social media icons okay now we'll have our content ready just a minor design tweaks let's go to style and i'll set the background gradient from black to transparent so it will give us this look that you are seeing let's just adjust its gradient okay that looks nice now what i'm going to do is that is that i'll hide this section by default and show this when we hover over this container to do that we'll have to assign a custom class to this content container i'll say this member info you can name it whatever you want just use the appropriate class name in the custom css i'll just keep it minimal so now select the main container and go to its custom css section and let's say uh let's set the visibility of member info to hidden now to show it when now use the selector then member info sorry selector state over and member info visibility set to visible okay now we can also add some transition to the selector okay that looks nice let's just publish this template and now let's just create a new page to uh, create our team members carousel i'll call this um, its landing page uh, template to i'll use elementor canvas template for this particular page 
obviously you will use elementor uh, full width or theme container so you can have your header and footer i'm just going to show you this particular section only so let's just create our section and you must make sure that you have enabled uh, the flexbox container for elementor by going into settings features and flexbox container because the uh, design we are going to create requires uh, flexbox containers okay now let's keep this main container to boxed and uh, let's set a minimum height of 100 vertical height 100 vh and let's just add a background color dark background color like black and then uh, i'll add another container and select the parent container and justify its content to the center set this container to full width and then <clears throat> select vertical width from this drop down and set it to 100 and then convert its direction to row and let's just align the items to the center now add two more containers inside this row set them full width and i'll just set the first one to some uh, fixed width like 400 pixels and then i'll duplicate this one and change its width to percentage and then remove the value from it and then go to advanced select this first container and select the size to grow so it should have the width that we have assigned exactly the width that we have assigned to it okay now let's just add some text I'm just adding and adjusting the content. Okay, now for the carousel, we'll use loop carousel element and then we'll just search for the template that we have created, it's team member and then we'll have to adjust our query load content from team members okay that's nice let's adjust the slides to display uh, let's try changing the width of this container okay i think that looks nice okay now uh, let's just adjust the gap between elements i'll just increase the gap to 20 pixels let's just add some more spice to this like going into styles and going into borders over and then set a box shadow i'll just for, i'll just copy the color first like this color okay and then uh, i set this over here and then i'll remove its blur and i'll adjust its horizontal and vertical alignment to 10 okay so you see now we have a nice over effect as a background shadow as well.
okay now publish this one and let's just publish this one as well and let's just reload okay uh, sometimes it does not load uh, an image for the container when it's set to background let me just reload this one and also adjust the font size it's a bit too much let's just have the preview of this page Okay, so the background shadow is not appearing uh, in the editing screen uh, and but it's perfectly fine on the front end. Now we have almost completed our carousel. Now we'll just have to adjust these uh, navigation arrows. Let's just go to navigation and change its arrows to this one you can use anyone that you like okay and go to style navigation and normal color is white and hover color is our custom color okay and also adjust the icon size okay i think that's fine now uh, i'll remove the pagination dots you can keep them if you like you can set the color over here you can see these dot icons you can adjust its size and also adjust its colors okay but uh, i'm gonna disable them okay now we'll uh, apply some custom css to move these arrow icons from left right to this bottom i have already provided uh, the link to the css file uh, containing the css code uh, that i am using in this tutorial you can easily just copy the code and using your project but just make sure to rename the class name or use the appropriate class name as required okay now go to advanced go to custom css and now we'll have to see what class is being applied on this element for that we'll use the inspect element tool available in every browser this is the container of the loop and these are the buttons okay uh, swipe uh, left and right first i'll just uh, move all the buttons to the bottom use selector perimeter swiper button and from top I use auto so it should remove any top value that is being applied uh, by default and then I'll set bottom value to minus 70 pixels or, or 60 and left to zero now you can see both buttons are aligned on the bottom left now we'll have to just uh, adjust this right navigation arrow uh, and give it some space from the left so for that we'll have elementor swiper button next class applied to that button just copy this class 
and then go to selected let me just scroll down a bit so you can see it clearly and now from left we'll add some value like uh, 40 pixels i think 40 pixels is enough you can increase it according to your requirement okay now we have these buttons aligned at the bottom left okay now let's just have a final preview our, of our design and you can see we have beautiful team members carousel but i can see uh, there is uh, some cut off of this background shadow that we can take care of with the help of the overflow adjustment for this carousel let's just see the container okay it's this elementus viper loop container i'll just add some padding from bottom to this container i selected or swiper and padding bottom like 20 pixels so we can have enough enough space to show our background shadow okay everything is fine let's just reload this one again okay so we have a nice team member carousel that you see on most of the modern websites now you can uh, replicate this layout in your existing website design please like this video if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these tutorials see you next time happy designing with elementor